I'm Warren Stiffage, and I'm the national partner in charge of governance, risk, and compliance at Grant Thornton. I'm based in Chicago, and I'm the co-author of the data analytics book that we're talking about today. And I'm proud to be able to talk about uh, co-authoring this with my partner, Brad Preber, who's a national managing partner of forensics. In rating the internal audit profession right now, if, if we look at our research and our uh, maturity model that we have in our textbook, uh, I would say the profession is, is ad hoc or maybe in some instances repeatable. Uh, the profession right now uh, is, is not necessarily pulling on all the areas that it could to mine the data and then there isn't clarity in some cases in the profession on what to do with the data once it's mined and analyzed. In our research, we saw a, a lot of barriers to success in this area. And, and one natural area that comes first to mind is technology and the type of technology to use to analyze the data. In our, in our textbook and in our research, we, we wanted to slow the reader down, slow the chief auditor down, and make sure that he or she understands that it's, it's also about the process, the strategy, and the people before you run into the technology component of how to analyze the data. And so as we see people naturally saying that the technology to use to perform data analytics is a barrier or holding us up. We believe and the research showed that that we think you need to focus on a strategy and an approach and then have the people on your team or that you can source that have the skills and expertise to help you begin to move forward on the maturity model around data analytics. My advice would be to start small. Try to break it down into relatively bite-sized chunks. It's acknowledged that perhaps you won't have all the resources on your staff because your staff may be smaller given you're a smaller shop. It may, it may be a nice opportunity for you to do some co-sourcing or to borrow some training from outside your function and have some training go on, on for one of your individuals to begin to learn a bit more about data analytics. I realize and we realize that it may take you a bit longer, but I do believe that regardless of the size of your shop, even if it's one person, that there is opportunity for you to begin to move through the development and uh, the, the maturity model around data analytics, especially as you look towards the future. The change management component around adopting and adapting to data analytics can be quite burdensome. I believe, and the research helped us to point out, that this has to be taken relatively slow, but with, with a continuous pace and a continuous amount of pressure behind it, so that way change management can take place. Uh, continual reminders, continual training, continual value being pointed out to your own staff, as well as to your colleagues in the company, I believe will help to set you on a path for success as you try to move forward with improving your utilization of data analytics and begin to look towards perhaps even predictive and prescriptive in use of the data.